Detroit fans like to call their city Hockey Town. Well, today it was Mr. Hockey's Town. People started lining up outside Joe Louis Arena 90 minutes before the doors opened at 9. Many in their Red Wings jerseys, bearing the number 9. Some took the time to sign banners that simply read, Thank you, Mr. Hockey. Ryan Schaff grew up in Michigan and flew all the way from Arizona just so he could say goodbye. I wouldn't miss today for uh, the world, so it's, it's been one of the toughest, toughest weekends of my life, so is uh, my hero. Just before nine, a black hearse entered through a garage door. Family members, including Gordy's sons, Mark and Marty, asked Wayne Gretzky to help bring the casket into the darkened arena. Gretzky, a Stanley Cup champion, Olympic gold medal winner, who idolized Howe, was overwhelmed. They said he was everything to me. You know, he was like a second father. He was a mentor. Um, we played golf together. We did commercials together. Um, we had, a, we had a, a lot of time for each other. The arena was shrouded in black. Four Stanley Cup banners and Howe's retired jersey hanging above the bronze casket. People marched slowly through the darkness, pausing to gaze at Howe's old gloves, action photos, and other mementos of his remarkable career. Many never saw him play, but for those who did, today was about remembering the man. Fred Rutherford watched Howe at the old Detroit Olympia and came across the river from Windsor, Ontario to say thanks. I grew to learn how much of a gentleman he was uh, off the ice. Uh, he had everything there was um, it, it, in terms of just being an all-round person. Red Wings players spoke of their respect for Howe, who often came to the rink to share stories and advice, but only if asked. Steve Eiserman wore the C as team captain for two decades and appreciated the guidance of another former captain. Really nice man who had took time to, to talk to people, to give everybody a couple of minutes here and there, and really wanted nothing in return for it. The funeral for Gordie Howe is scheduled for tomorrow morning. A hockey who's who is expected to attend. Meantime, the fans kept coming. A procession that began at 9 and ended at 9 for number 9. Tom Harrington, CBC News, Detroit.